Assalamu alaikum everyone. Hello there. So for today's video, we are making a solid perfume. So this is an old mint tin container that I have and I just put my solid perfume in there and I just love how it rubs on my skin because it is so fragrant at the same time it is not as waxy as it looks actually it, it's just very lightweight and I have found the perfect recipe to make a solid perfume so what I do is I incorporate one part of sweet almond oil one part of beeswax and one part of refined shea butter and you want to do a three types of fragrance which has a top note a middle note and a base note so i am making a solid perfume in this jar for my friend and he specifically requested to have cinnamon oil in it so i thought let's make Something musky but sweet and at the same time fresh. So for the top note, I will be using bergamot and lemon oil. And it will contrast but kind of blends well with the cinnamon. As long as I don't put too much cinnamon and it's not overpowering. And for the base note, I am putting vanilla. Did I just slur because I am super tired guys, I'm so sorry. I am putting vanilla as the base note and it is just the perfect ending because it is so silky and calming and relaxing so for the first hit and whiff of the perfume you will get something fresh and floral and then you get a very musky kind of scent to it and then you finish off with something very relaxing i want to do i think for this one it will fit maybe two and a half of teaspoons of each so remember it's one part of each okay i'm not really sure if this is one tablespoon but let's just put another big chunk and let's call it two and a half that's definitely more than two and a half let's call that two and a half yeah why not melting this on a double boiler you can also do it in a microwave if you're very lazy to just get the double boiler on because you just need heat to melt all this down but if you do do it in a microwave remember to do it in a 30 second burst and then stir it around and then do another 30 second burst because you don't want to overheat the wheat beeswax and you know it can cause a very big fire hazard you can just this thing can just explode and you don't want that that's very dangerous it's very unpleasant to clean up it's very annoying so you i i will just reheat this on a double boiler for maybe around 15 minutes or i think even less because the last time i made it it didn't take that long so let's just see i don't want to move my camera because i have set my camera to be at this table but by the time i come back this should be melted now that i have everything melted i want to move really quickly and just put all the fragrance oil in mix all the fragrance oil and I want to get my jar is that in the camera is that in the shot yeah we good okay let's do it so before that you want to really stir the fragrance oil and make sure it's all incorporated let's have a smell oh it smells like an exotic perfume but you know what? I want to put a little bit more lemon. I want to make it a little bit more zesty. So that the first whiff of that perfume is very fresh. Because the lemon that I have works perfectly well with the cinnamon, surprisingly. Oh, that smells amazing. And let's just put it in the jar before it solidifies. 
Okay, and then we have a little bit more here. So we'll just leave this here for maybe one to two hours and after that we can test it! Yay! So excited! So the solid perfume is setting up beautifully but if you see there is a divot in the center. That usually happens with bombs that you make at home but that's not a problem. What you do is just get a heat gun, turn it on and just kind of go over it. You see it has completely melted the divot point and you can just let it set and it will be a smooth and beautiful solid perfume and we are done what happened to my bow tie oh my god but anyway this is a solid perfume it has set beautifully it is in, in the nicest consistency of a balm if i can just show it to you I actually did many swipe tests before just now because it was so nice and this part here is just swatched from the old solid perfume that I have used but I actually put the leftover solid perfume from this jar into here and I just wanna just kind of apply it to myself again oh, I just love how it smells because you get that floral and fresh scent at first and then you realize that there is a, a cinnamon oil to it that just gives it a musky scent and then uh, after a while like maybe an hour or so the only leftover scent that will be on is that little teeny whiff of cinnamon but that powering but calming vanilla essential oil so i really like this it is such a great gift to give to someone i definitely have to fix this bow tie but i am putting it in this pouch that you know it's just from brown paper it's very easy to make so this is how i'm gonna i'm just gonna seal off the end and give it with a card and this is such a perfect gift to give to someone because it is so customizable but at the same time meaningful because you are making the gift yourself isn't that sweet so this is how you make solid perfume